I'm advising you to abort the mission and retreat immediately. And submit a mission failed report? I hate those forms. I'll take my chances with the lasers. Listen to me, Cactus. The hangar is sealed. There's no way on board. I think I see an opening. It's okay, folks. I'm the police. Commence being calm. Hello, I'm Tim from the Plug and Play Podcast. Welcome to my review of Assault Android Cactus. Cactus is a junior constable in the Interplanetary Police who ends up stranded on a crippled space freighter under attack by its own robot workers. Conscripting any fellow androids she finds along the way, Tiny she robots. fights through unique stages to reach the brain of the ship in his Arcade Styles twin ship stick shooter. Every android has their own distinct personality and foibles. You can read about the background in the codex, but their personality shines through in the catchphrases broadcast through the speaker of the DualShock 4 controller. My favorite is Starch, who says, Pineapple, when you wake her up at the character select screen, and everything's dead after a stage is completed. Each character has their own unique weapon loadout, one primary Hi, weapon here. with unlimited ammo that upgrades as you defeat enemies, and one powerful secondary weapon that takes Pretty a lot of recharge. Wings. Cactus uses a machine gun and a flamethrower, and is suited for almost down. every level, while a character like Abergeen, who drives a spinning robot called Hilo, and a singularity generator to create mini black holes, requires more skill to use, or the player will be quickly overwhelmed. Although Abergeen would be a again. tough character to use in single player, she would be Battery great in multiplayer here. mode. This old Android Cactus can be played up by up to four people locally, and as players are added, the game piles on the killer robots. A singularity generator might come in handy. The game is broken up into five floors of five stages, with a section lord blocking passage to the next level of the ship. Oof. Each stage is unique, not just a static arena to shoot enemies in. Battery up. Pits open up, conveyor belts move enemies and items around the level to sometimes hilarious or frustrating circles. results. Boxes may explode, revealing more enemies, or robots may crawl out of pits. On a transport stage, a giant laser beam shears through the stage, destroying unsheltered friend and foe alike. The environments are diverse and engaging, and the player must keep an eye on them as well Enemy as the enemies attacking. Most stages seem to be of around five minutes if you could survive them. The last few seconds can often be frenetic as hordes of enemies swarm towards you in the final moments. Assault Android Cactus's battery health bar system adds to the game's sense of urgency. Since the game is all about uh, androids, it makes sense that the battery should be the health bar, right? Enemy hits deplete the battery, but so does time. This forces the player to throw caution to the wind and wade into the hordes of foes before the battery drains to zero charge. Enemies occasionally drop batteries to recharge the player's green battery bar, but you never know when the drop will happen, and a half second can mean the difference between recharging and finishing the stage or dying just before the end. At least the game has a great game over song. Enemies also drop little bits that charge up your main weapon to higher levels and occasionally drop a big power-up as well. A large power-up cycles between three colors red, blue, and yellow. Yellow gives a player wings that boost, boost their speed and maneuverability, blue dead. freezes all enemies for a short period of time, and red gives a player two Excellent. robot drones that follow and give extra firepower. Sometimes it pays off to wait for the power up to change color to fit the situation. The campaign can be played either single player or with up to four players, and there are a few other modes and goodies in the games as well. There's an infinity drive where wave upon wave of enemies attack, as well as a daily drive, which is a challenge that changes periodically. The game also includes a codex about all of the characters and enemies, a jukebox where you can listen to the amazing soundtrack by Jeff Van Dyck, and old school gamers rejoice. There's even a sound test where you can press X and hear all the game's bleeps and bloops. As you play, Accelerate. you earn credits which can unlock concept art and EX Accelerate options. Extended. There are some crazy EX options available like unlocking the ability to play in first person, rendering the game in a gritty style, or having the ability to play with three AI companions. So, should you check out Assault Android Cactus on PlayStation 4? In a word, Fire yes. Power. Whether you have 10 minutes and just want to unwind by shooting waves of robots, or you have three friends over and want to go through a quick campaign together, Assault Android Cactus delivers. From character design to music, Assault Android Cactus succeeds in giving the player a very polished, focused experience. The controls are simple, but the game is not easy. Don't let the brightly colored art design or the plucky heroines fool you. This game has plenty of challenge to offer. You will see your battery drain to empty, especially against the section lords. But you'll just smile and restart. This is Tim for the Plug and Play Podcast. Thanks for checking out my review of a sold Android Cactus.
made it. <laughs> 